see how Maria Sharapova um, plays this game after her three double faults in her last serve game. Double fault. 15-30. Second double fault of this game. That's five double faults in the last two games. Deuce. Another miss. Break point. Oh, that serve was the worst of the lot. She, I think, did try to take a little bit off there, and that threw her even more off. So Mary Jo says, oops, just kidding, I didn't mean that. Just no. go back to what she was doing. Pammy, wow. Well, Cliffy, you mentioned I was sitting with Tom Gullickson, one of the great coaches. You coach a lot of the young women. First off, let's talk about the serve. What do you see technique-wise from Sharapova? Well, I know, you know, she has manufactured this new motion based on her shoulder problems. And uh, I think it's really hard to get rhythm and a lot of racket head speed kind of going with that really abbreviated motion like that. Great points here for Sharapova. Pemi, thank you for that. And so she will serve again when we come back. And she has struggled in her last two serve games. So it's 3-2 now, and Sharapova has been having real serving issues. And her coach came down courtside, talked to her about it. Here he is, Michael Joyce. Listen. You okay? Listen, you're, you're, not, you're not snapping. No, you're not extending in your arm. Huh? Why, it hurts? Tired? Listen, you got you to go after it with your arm. You're pushing it, it whatever. You can't, you're, you're, not, um, you're not swinging your arm through. Okay? Yeah, so you gotta, but you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta find a way to do it. If you're not, the serve's not gonna go in. All right? I mean, it's, 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 uh, whether you wanna hit first serve, second serve, but you gotta go up and you gotta swing your arm. Okay? And you gotta, this is where you gotta, you're a little bit tired, you gotta push, you gotta push yourself on your serve, you gotta pump yourself up, and you gotta get yourself moving, and that's it. Michael also told her at the end, Cliff, try some second serves as, as your first serve. It's interesting Mary Jo that he says that because, uh, again, that's a really a stump speech for coaches in this country. And that is, and it's not just for tennis, by the way, it's, uh, you can say this about so many different things. The swing is the thing. I mean, you can hope the ball in, but unless you swing, it's not going to go in. And it's basically what he's telling her. He's, she's got to extend and she's got to swing on the serve. It's really sad to see the game has really fallen apart. I don't know, Mary Jo, uh, how can you explain this, these kind of serving issues if it's not a physical thing, which she says it's not, and I believe her at this stage? I don't know. I mean, the first set was such a good serve. Timing, rhythm was there. I think now for the first time, her game is being affected. The by rest the, of it, yes, yeah. by the frustration. Game point for a 5 2 lead in the second set now. That's because it's such a huge shot. I mean, it starts half the games. I, 
I just really feel that she does not feel comfortable yet with this abbreviated motion and therefore loses trust in it. Well, there's an unease factor, wh whatever but it I is. But I don't think it's because of the, the, the moment in the match or the opponent. I, th I think it's all Maria. So you mean it's, more, it's just as likely to happen at one level yes. of set as it is at 5-4. Exactly. That's, that's peculiar. That is peculiar, but uh, apparently true because that's what happened in this second set. That said, she's got a break point to get right back on serve. That's a look of concern from Sharapova. She is not looking forward to serving. Gets the brakes. Uh, Mary Jo, you said something earlier with which I agree. I think while she's making this change, and look, that is a big factor when you go to this really abbreviated swing, but you said she has to bring the ball toss mm -hmm. down. I think that would help. I think that would help a lot. It's just much harder to get the timing right when the ball toss is that high. Because remember, with the full swing like it was before, the ball toss is where it is now. That's how long it took her to catch up to the toss. Now, she's having to wait, wait, wait to get it. Another double fall. And there's got to be a way of maybe bringing it down. And, and I know you got to swing through it like Michael Joyce wants her to do and, and extend, but there's got to be a speed where it's a little bit safer on, and more comfortable. But it becomes a mental thing. Well, actually, I think she had a, well, labrum tear repair. The labrum is the cartilage that surrounds the, and that's the common, that's why I had repaired oh. twice. And it's a very common problem, particularly among tall athletes with long lever arms. Break point at 3-4. Arms are up together, but look at the ball toss. It's so high, and now it comes comes down. And it, it's just off. The left side has come down long before she makes contact with the ball. Wow. 5-3 now, serving for the set. Break point. It is Maria Sharapova who has just had an unbelievable struggle on her own serve game. Serving here at 4-5, second set after she won the first 6-4. Ah! Oh. <laughs> now the crowd's starting to laugh about it. That's not going to help. Pressure is on, serving for the match. refocus and get the break right back. Serve that wide, clean ace. Another look. Talk about guts.
right baseline. Well, we'll see a chase review, but I think that all this will do is confirm a win in this match for Maria. It is clear. Maria Sharapova will not be happy with this effort 